MLB Network is your exclusive home for postseason baseball. Game two of the World Series between the L.A. Dodgers and the Boston Red Sox. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to the World Series here on MLB Network. I'm joined by Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and Danny. An important ball game coming up here in Game 2. Yeah, it was a good start for these guys at home. They did what they needed to do in the opening game, and this crowd really showed up and made a difference as well. Should be an electric atmosphere again, so we'll see if the guys on the field can beat off it and take a commanding lead in this series. The postseason is officially in full swing. Lineups and first pitch coming up next. Back now as we draw ever closer to first pitch. Let's listen in to public address announcer Mike Carlucci. And now your 2018 Boston Red Sox. Briefly here, a glance at the two starters who will get the ball here in this one. A chance now for the Los Angeles Dodgers starting lineup. Thoughts, Dan, who stands out? Well, I know these guys love what Justin Turner brings to their offense. This is the guy you wanted to play when the game is on the line. He thrives in these situations. It's almost like he goes to bed and says, I can't wait to play because the game is going to come down to me and I'm going to make something happen. He thrives on performing in the big moments. David Price will be on the bump for game two of the series. What's your take on him, Dan? Thanks, Matty. David Price, former AL Cy Young Award winner, big fastball 95 to 97, curveball and a slider. One of the things he does well, commands the strike zone, throws a lot of strikes. All right, let's take a quick look at how the Red Sox set up on D today. And let's focus on the guy behind the dish tonight. Christian Vasquez lock in on this guy some say he looks like a young Pudge Rodriguez in his prime the bats coming but the way he massages this pitching staff it should be your focus into the box Kike Hernandez he'll get us started in this one under the lights two balls and a strike here it is just got a piece up the line that goes foul two strikes on him now and it'll be important to stay warm tonight a chilly 44 degrees here at first pitch the 2 2 will not catch the zone ball three Now the three and two pitch. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. And he lays off ball four. That's exactly what you want your leadoff man to do. Work the count and get on base. And that's just an incredible job at the plate by the leadoff man there. Not only did he make the pitch and throw a ton of pitchers and bust his tail, but he also won the battle and earned a free pass. Turner in front at three balls and a strike. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Earl Hendricks. Hey, d -Row, Earl Hendricks, he, he's not a guy that gets a lot of complaints by either players or pitchers. He's a pretty good umpire. Yeah, Dan, Earl's got a great track record in his sport. He's pretty consistent, and overall, he's been a fair umpire. Here's Price on three and one. Fouled away. Yeah. 
Now the three and two pitch. And boy, that misses as well. It's back to back walks to start out the inning. Some guys take a little time to find the zone, but with the second walk of the first inning, it might be a little more than just settling in here. Not sure how long of a leash they'll give him, but they're not going to let him walk the world out there. Here's Manny Machado now. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. None out, runners at first and second. Ah, changed things up on him and he got him to swing through it. One and two now. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Boy, good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. This is a pitch I think we'll see a lot from him in this game. The cutter darting in on the hitters in the opposite batter's box. It can be a real effective pitch when it's located well, and that one was right there. Standing in now, number 13. Two and two the count. Nunez is over to take a look at it. It gets out of play though. That's into the visitors dugout. Here now the 2 2. Popped him up. Bradley moving in. But he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. And the run will score as the Dodgers grab the early 1 0 lead. Boy, that has to feel good as a hitter, D. Roy. You get that base hit to give your team the lead. You have to feel good when you get down to first base. Yeah, it's just a nice approach. You see him turn to his boys right there and get fired up with the dugout. 100%. Not trying to do too much. Able to quiet the moment down, center himself, and come through in a big spot. Runners are at first and second with one away. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone and there are two gone. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. Into the box, Cody Bellinger. Swung on and missed. One and two now. Hit on the ground to short. Bogarts has it. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Only one in the inning here for the guys in blue. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. LA's on top, one to nothing. With that, here's how the hometown Red Sox line up in this one. Anybody catch your eye, Dan? Well, you have to be really impressed with what J.D. Martinez does for this offense. He's certainly a guy to watch out there in this lineup. Everything he does makes them click. When he's swinging the bat well, they just go. Hyunjin Ryu is on the mound for game two. What do we need to know here, Danny? Well, Matt, he reminds me, he's the closest thing that I've seen to David Wells. You watch him throw, he's 89 to 93 miles an hour. Kind of a big, loopy overhand curveball. Does have the hard slider and the changeup. A good athlete for a big guy. You'll know if he's on early. He has to get his breaking pitches over to make his fastball effective. All right, guys, here's the defensive alignment for the Los Angeles Dodgers. And let's focus our attention on second baseman Brian Dozier. 
We know what he can do from the offensive standpoint. Light tower power. But he doesn't get enough credit for his defense, his ability to manipulate the bag and do all this while his hair never moves. Here's Mookie Betts. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Swinging bunt out in front of the plate. Throw on to first in time, one away. Batting second, left fielder, Andrew Benintendi. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. And he missed with that one. It's ball four. A one out walk here in the home first. He's going to be pretty upset with himself about that 3 2 pitch. All you want to do in that count is make a competitive pitch. That one wasn't even sniffing the zone, and he let him get away. So striding in, J.D. Martinez. A snap move over to first and a dive, but he's back. And another snap throw to the bag and the runner back. Here now the 2 2. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. This is on the ground over to first. Scooped up to second for one. And good hustle by the pitcher there on the back end as it's a three to six to one double play. And the side is retired. Nothing across here this half of the inning. On to the second inning now from Fenway Park. Dodgers out in front, one to nothing. Here's Brian Dozier now. And that misses for ball four. So it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. That leadoff walk is a great way to start this inning when you're looking to pad the lead. Could be the beginning of good things here in this half inning. Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Wow, that's awfully impressive right there. The pitch before was really close. Called the ball. What does he do? He comes back with a better pitch and gets the punch out. Stepping in now, Yasiel Puig. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. In a double play situation, you kind of expect most pitches to be down in the zone, hoping for a ground ball. So that was an interesting pitch selection to go up in the zone. I think he caught him off guard a little bit. So stepping in, Kike Hernandez. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. Now the one and one pitch and the one one is in the air now out to center 
Bradley is there. And that's the third out. Dodgers leave one. And after an inning and a half, it's one to nothing. Here's Xander Bogarts now. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. One and two to the Boston shortstop. One and two, here it comes. Missed with a breaking ball. That curveball is a pitch you have to get on top of, or else it'll take off just like that one did. The 2 2. Is taken, ball three. That pitch was way down on two and two, but give the hitter some credit there. Sometimes with two strikes, you're more off to expand the strike zone, but he didn't and held off on that one that wasn't even close. And that'll get by into left field, so he's on to lead off the inning. I know this guy isn't known for his hitting prowess, but that's a nice job right there. Getting a single on a 3 2 pitch in the middle of the zone, grab your glove and flash some light. Into the box now, Steve Pierce. He'll get to take his first cuts here. The 1-1. One, one. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. The 2-1 home. Even count two balls and two strikes. He wasn't fooling anybody with that fastball. He barreled it up nice right there. He's just got to find a way to keep it fair. He's gone. He's gone. Bogarts takes off. Pitch is high. The throw. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. Working for the punch out and the offering. Count remains full. That fastball must have a little late life on it because that was right in the wheelhouse and he still wasn't able to get good wood on it. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Bellinger's under it. Looks it into his glove and there's one gone. And the throw in gets away from him. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. Now at the plate, Ian Kinsler, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. The 1 1 home is looked at off the plate for a ball. 2 1. Two two fouled off Bogarts takes his lead at third with one away this is hit high in the air out toward left center calling for it Hernandez he makes the catch here comes the runner from third and the run will score on the sacrifice fly as that'll square things at one to one. Into the box now, Eduardo Nunez. Bases empty and two gone following the sacrifice fly. The 1 1 home. Waves and misses for strike number two. Classic case right there of an off speed pitch, and that hitter's eyes lit up, and that front shoulder went flying. He's got to find a way to keep that thing tucked and play with the big part of the field. And Dozier will put this one away to retire the sign. 
some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Digging in for his second at bat, Justin Turner reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Squared that one up just a little late. Once again, a 3 2. Again, he sends it out of play. The next 3 2. Count still full, 3 and 2. Shot down the first baseline, but this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Popped up. Price is there for it. Makes the play one away. The batter, number eight, shortstop. So striding forward now, Manny Machado. 0 for one for him here in this one. One out, nobody on. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Number 13 will be next. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Fastball, and ooh, that ran in and drilled him. Yeah, I can hear the crowd murmuring now, wondering if he hit him on purpose. But hey, us pitchers need to be able to throw inside, especially when facing hitters as dangerous as he is. Pretty sure this one just got away from him, and hey, that's part of the game. Into the box now, number 13. Hit on the ground to third. Kinsler for one. On to Pierce. It's a double play, and the inning is over. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Digging in, Christian Vasquez. Bounce to first. Fielded cleanly. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Got in ninth. Center fielder. Jackie Bradley. Now batting Jackie Bradley Jr. As he'll get his first opportunity in this one. The 2-1. Slap hard the opposite way. Hernandez is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second out. Well, this one was squared up pretty good, but just like pitchers give up hits on well-executed pitches, batters make outs on balls they couldn't have hit much better. In now, Mookie Betts. Uh, and that fastball is too much for him there. One and two. Two out, nobody on. The one, two. Count still at one and two. Another one two curve ball stays a little high that time he still might be looking for that release point on that curve ball early in this outing that will look like it popped out of his hand behind his ear instead of out front 
We'll see if he finds that pitch because it'll be important for him. The 2-2. Two -two. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Keeps spiking him off. The eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. High in the air and deep to straightaway left. Hernandez racing back off the light tower and it's gone. A solo home run there for Mookie. His first homer so far in the series, and the Red Sox move in front. It's two to one. I know I get big money for my expert analysis, but this is pretty simple. If you put a fastball up in the zone, over the heart of the plate, this guy's going to turn it around in a heartbeat. This one was no shocker. Standing in now, Andrew Benintendi. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. The Red Sox do pick up a run on the solo shot. We played three full. It's a two to one Boston advantage. Now to the plate is the Dodgers designated hitter, Matt Kemp. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Fastball called strike three and there's the first out of the inning. Center fielder number 35. Stepping in and ready for another shot Cody Bellinger. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. The 1 1 home. He's in there for strike number two. The 1 2. Now he spins on one here and drives it to deep right field. Around first, he's digging for second. And that will hop over the wall now as he'll be awarded second base here. It's a ground rule double. When you play in this park where the fences are shorter, this is going to happen more often than any other ballparks. Stepping in now, Brian Dozier. Count is one and two now. Now Price is one two. And he lays off the fastball away so it's two and two now. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Yosmani Grandal waits on deck. Swing and a miss for out number two and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. I think he had his mind made up. He was swinging the bat and trying to protect before the ball even left the pitcher's hand. That pitch wasn't even close. He would have needed a flagpole to hit that one. Into the box now, Yosmani Grandal. This one's blooped out toward right center field. And this will be taken in out there by Kinsler, and that ends the inning. One left for LA. Our score remains two to one. Now the Red Sox DH, JD Martinez, will lead things off here for Boston. Xander Bogart's due to hit next. One one home takes a pitch for strike number two. Mm 
ground ball left side. Throw in time as he's called out on a bang bang play at first. The shortstop, number two, Xander Bogart. Riding in once again, Xander Bogarts. He singled his last time up. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. Two and one. Well, when you're behind in the count like this pitcher is, it's a good time to work in something off speed if you're confident in it. Most hitters are looking for fastball. Now the two one pitch. High in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Two runs on two hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. Line to the right side. And that's in for a base hit, his second in as many trips to the plate. Hey, they weren't going to keep this guy down for long. That's the ebbs and flows of the baseball season. Bottom line is, this guy has bat to ball skills. You knew he was going to get hot eventually. Now we'll step off and fire to the bag, just keeping him close. Bogarts, a runner at first with one gun in the inning. In now, Steve Pierce. Oh, and this one's driven the other way and deep to the corner. And it'll fade just at the end and winds up a long foul ball. That's and that misses there, so he runs the count full now. Got to execute a good pitch right here. Runner at first is probably going to be on the move, and you got one of the better hitters on their team up at the plate. Another full count pitch on its way. And he fouls this one off. Base hit, line drive into the corner. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. And he just blasts this thing down the left field line. I thought it might then foul, but it lands just inside the chalk, and he's able to leg it out for a double. Good looking swing. Looks as though the decision makers in the dugout will give him a free pass to first, so the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk, and the force play is now in order. Eduardo Nunez. Coming to the plate now, Eduardo Nunez comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Here's the 2 1. Liner in there for a base hit. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. Hey, guys, that's a great job of hitting right there. Pitcher executes his pitch down and away below the knees, and a right-handed batter is able to stay inside and push it through the 3-4 hole. Nothing you can do. Standing in now, Christian Vasquez. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for Revol. Well, when the pressure starts to intensify, it often feels like the strike zone gets harder and harder to hit. This is a big spot here. The 3 1 down the third baseline, but a foul ball, and it's full now at 3 and 2. Set. Here's the three and two. And another foul ball. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. Full count still.
Another full count pitch on its way. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Hey, I'm biased to the hitter right now. Keep frustrating that pitcher. Foul 12 of these things off. He's going to miss over the heart of the plate at some point. And he finally wears him down here as he strikes him out after a nine pitch at bat. Now batting, Hunter Fielder, Jackie. Coming to the plate now, Jackie Bradley Jr. Hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Has to challenge him now. Here's the pitch. And that misses. Ball four. A run will come in to score. Man, when you're trailing, you hate to give up any runs, but walking one in is especially painful. Now the lead is extended, and a base hit could blow the lid right off this thing. Ready for another shot now. Mookie Betts, one of the bigger spots in the ball game so far. Base is juiced now with two away. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Ryu comes set. Full count pitch on its way. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. The next 3-2. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Bellinger is there now as he makes the catch and they're able to avoid the huge inning here as the side is retired. So they wind up with two in the inning but it could have been a lot worse as they leave the bases loaded. On to the top of inning number five we go. The Red Sox on top four to one. Stepping into the box Yasiel Puig. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Bouncer to the left side. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Now batting, left fielder, Kike Hernandez. Next for the Dodgers, Kike Hernandez. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. The one two is taken for ball two. Bases are empty, one man out. Swung on and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the fifth. Man, I love watching a pitcher that just rears back and blows smoke by a guy at the letters. That's the ultimate challenge pitch, and for me personally, watching hitters swing and miss, man, that's a sight of beauty. Into the box, Justin Turner. Three and one now. This is where you cash your checks right here. Three one. You're one of the best hitters in the game. You live for situations like this. Oh my this ball is crushed. Where will this one end up. Gone over the monster and out onto Lansdowne Street. So a solo shot here to left center field his first homer here in the series and the Dodgers have cut this to a 4 2 score now. Yeah and that's what you call a dream scenario or an absolute nightmare depending on your viewpoint a power pitcher on the bump and a power hitter at the plate. A plus B equals see you later. It's simple math, folks. Into the box now, Manny Machado. 
hit hard but fouled as this ends up over by the first base dugout. The one two. Still one and two. Fastball just a bit up. Two and two. Two runs, three hits, no errors for the Dodgers thus far. Hit sharply on the ground. On to Pierce at first, and the inning is over. The Dodgers do get one back on the solo home run. Middle of the night at Fenway. The Red Sox four, and the Dodgers two. The left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in as we move past the halfway point in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. Ready on one and two. And a ball, fastball just a bit high. Now the Dodgers get a right hander up and throwing in their bullpen. Well hit the other way and it's into the gap. Around first digging for two. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Off the bat it was pretty clear right away that that hit was going to get him at least two bases. Yeah Matt some people like to throw about homers and pounding drives but you have to like hits like this. A no doubt double the second it left his bat. Like you said the only question was whether the outfielders were going to be able to keep him at second which they did. Two pitch he is swung on and missed strike three. Here's Xander Bogarts now. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. Payoff pitch on its way. And awfully close there on three and two, but take your base, says Earl Hendricks. It's ball four. And with first base open, the last thing he wanted to do was give him something to hit in the heart of the zone. So no harm done. Force out anywhere now. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Steve Pierce. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. On the run this one in on him and he can't connect so he finds himself down one and two now. Benintendi over at second Bogarts at first one gone. Now a fastball awfully close but he doesn't get the call it's two and two now. Here now the two two. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. The Dozier for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. One left for the Red Sox. But they still eat this one four to two. So now it'll be the four hole hitter number 13 a hit in two tries so far. 
Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. Good change up that time, but he wouldn't bite on it. And in a two run game right here, you really don't want to walk the leadoff guy to start an inning. You've got to keep that tying run in the on deck circle as long as you can. The 3 1. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitter is aboard to start the sixth. And this is exactly what you want to do when you're trying to put a start away. Make him work his tail off, throw a lot of pitches, and get on base any way that you can. A big inning at this point of the game, and he's probably gone. So here's Matt Kemp now. He's hoping to avoid the hat trick. He struck out in each of his first two plate appearances so far. We're in the sixth inning now of a four to two ball game. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Bradley is there. One away. So that'll bring in the National League rookie home run record holder Cody Bellinger. It was a two bagger for him in his last at bat. Here's the 2 1 from Price. And this pitch is hit foul off to the left and out of play. So the count goes to two and two now. He's set. Here's the two two swing and a little tapper. Here now the two two lifted down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. The 2 2. Neither guy giving in here, and they'll do it again. Hey, he's got four foul balls in this AB right here. He's really making this pitcher grind for everything. The 2 2 is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. That was a good job there of using the batter's aggressiveness against him. He was putting up a good fight and fouling a lot of balls off. So as a pitcher, it's a great idea to expand the zone even more and make the hitter really chase after something that's even hard to foul off. In now, Brian Dozier. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. Dodgers leave one. They trail it here four to two. Kenta Maeda enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 18, Kenta Maeda. Here's the second baseman Ian Kinsler. He'll lead things off against Kenta Maeda. The 1-1 home. Is in off the plate. Right hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. The 2 1 is laid off of for ball number three. Well, ball three there, and you know the Sox would love to start an inning. Hey, a leadoff walk would be a great thing right now. Come on, Sox. Ready on three and one. Here's the pitch. And it's fouled away. Now the three and two pitch. 
high in the air and deep to left center field. Bellinger racing back, and it's off the green monster. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. Sometimes when a reliever comes in the game, he wants to get that first strike so bad that he serves one up, and that's exactly what happens here. The first batter he faces just rockets one off the wall, and now he's got to worry about another base hit, potentially bringing home a run. Stepping in now, Eduardo Nunez. And he misses again, ball three. is there for ball four so runners are at first and second now with nobody out now batting, catcher, Christian Vasquez. digging in once again Christian Vasquez he was sent packing on strikes in his last trip on, here's the payoff pitch now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning Standing in, Jackie Bradley Jr. The 3-1. Three, 3 and 2 now. Now the 3 and 2 pick. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. I think he was trying to be a little too fine there, and a walk is the result. Well, the good news is he has a force at every base. The bad news? A single probably drives in a couple of runs. Mookie Betts stride in again, and before he takes his cuts here, let's flash you back to the third inning. This was just a solo shot, but it definitely helped get this offense going. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. Hey, I love the aggressiveness right here and wanting to be a hero. But this is where you got to tell yourself to relax a little bit. I had an old coach tell me one time when the bases are loaded, just concern yourself with getting the guy in from third. Swing and a liner. Foul. Kinsler, the runner at third. Nunez at second. Bradley is over at first with one away. Hit in the air down the right field line. Puig's got a read on it. Makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. The throw here is not in time. He beats Grandal's tag. That's a spot right there as a pitcher where you'll trade an out for a run anytime. Base is loaded, and only one run scores on the sacrifice fly. Standing in now, Andrew Benintendi, very weakly on the ground. The one-two. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Hernandez is after it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Red Sox settle for just the one. We'll go to the seventh now in game two. It's the Red Sox five and the Dodgers two. Welcome back to Fenway Park here in the great city of Boston. It's on to the seventh now in game two. But before we start, there's a look at our game summary to this point. 
Tyler Thornburg. It's on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Tyler Thornburg. Yosemite Grandal will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be forced to turn around and hit from the left side now. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. A fastball that just misses inside. Gets the sign. Here comes the 2 1. And he gets a piece there and chops it foul at home plate as the count moves to 2 and 2 now. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Swing and a miss at 1 in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Grandal is retired and there's one away. Now at the plate, Yasiel Puig. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. It's one and two. Five two our score as we play inning number seven. Lays off the one two change up and he's worked it back to two and two. Here now the two two. Fouled away. Ready with another 2 2. Fouled off. Here's another 2 2. And he fouls this one off. Swing and a liner. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three games so far. The throw into second. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. As we look again at that double here, you can see that he was thinking too right out of the box. Smashed it down the line, and that was some great hustle to beat the throw to second to earn himself a double. Into the box, Kike Hernandez. That misses, and we're even at two and two. Well, that's what you want from your curveball on one and two. You start it in the zone and let it break out of the zone where it can't be punished. Didn't get him to go after it, but the execution was nice. Shut him down now. Here now the two-two. And this one's in the dirt. And he's going to make it into third base now, as I believe that'll be scored as a wild pitch. That can be a tough read as a runner on second to see if the ball has gotten away enough to move to third. You have to be sure you can make it. He was there, and now he's only 90 feet away. Working for the punch out and the offering. It hard, but foul toward first, so he'll come back and line it up again. The next three two and it's fouled away. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. And he finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. That strikeout changes the whole complexion of the inning. He was definitely pitching for it with a runner on third and one out and he got it. Now it's going to take a hit or something like a wild pitch to get that guy home. Keith Hembry will get the ball here as he looks to get the final out in the top of the seventh. Keith Hembry.
Riding in, Justin Turner. And Dan, this could be a real make or break situation at this point in the game. Yeah, Matt, at least scoring one run in this inning is so important to them to possibly get back into this thing. Baseball doesn't have a clock, but you only have 27 outs to work with. They're running out of those pretty quick. Here's the one and one delivery Two and up one. around the face. This is the big out to get right here. This is their best hitter. He's a great hitter and he's a guy that kind of spark plug. He gets this team going. So if I'm on the mound right now you really want to try to get this guy out to hopefully keep them from getting a potential big inning started. Lifted in the air out towards left center. And he will get there to make the running play and that will end the inning. One left for L.A. And the deficit remains five to two. Number 46 is ready and he'll take the ball from the manager. Number 46. Here's J.D. Martinez. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. The one two swung on and he went fishing in the dirt. Grandall gathers and he makes the throw to first. Martinez retired and there's one away. Well you know you made a real nice pitch when you bounce it in the dirt and you still get the hitter to swing at it. That tells me that there's a lot of deception in that pitch right now. In now, Xander Bogarts. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. The two one. Popped up, number 13 in foul ground. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. He was able to foul that one off but you could tell he was definitely late that breaking ball the pitch before that heater right there definitely threw his timing off and that finds some outfield grass it's a base hit. Well Dan the sun goes down and this guy lights up right here that's his third knock of the night. And you talk about having a good night three hits and hey he might have another at that or two before this one ends. Stepping in now, Steve Pierce. Yeah. And he takes a cold strike, too. Throw over to the bag. Oh. A dive, but he's back. The one and two pitch. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. This is why it's so hard to be successful as a hitter when you fall behind in the count. One and two, you're probably expecting some sort of off speed pitches, but when the pitcher offers up a good, hard fastball, it's pretty hard to adjust and catch up to. Bogarns takes off. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. Not going to get him as he swipes second. It was pretty obvious he would likely be on the move with two outs and I'm sure the defense knew it too but he has lightning speed and was able to take the bag anyways. <laughs> Knuckle curve and he can't ring him up as it goes to two and two. Bogarts stands at second with two gone. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Red Sox lead one, and it remains five to two.
Here's Manny Machado now. He'll start us off in the eighth. The one two. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Well, we've seen some really good pitching from these guys on this one. The bullpen has looked sharp and have backed up a nice effort turned in by the starter. These days, pitching has become a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. We're in the eighth inning now of a five to two ball game. And a slider's in for a strike. It's two and two. Hey, let's not sugarcoat this. This is a huge half inning right here. They have to find a way to score a few runs. They do not want to face the closer, needing three runs in the ninth. That means game over. And that misses, so it's a full count, three and two. Matt Kemp waits on deck. Now the three and two pick. And this is lifted high in the air down the right field line. But no chance to run it down. It's a foul ball. Oh, and he struck him out as well. So he's carving right through the heart of this lineup as there are two away now. So here's Matt Kemp now. And they're down to their final four outs here, Dan. Yeah, and it's not looking too good for them right now, Matt. They've got a significant hill to climb, but they've got to take it one bat at a time. A couple of guys get on, and then who knows what could happen. Looking to set down the side on strikes. Here it comes. Down the left field line and deep. And that will end up a foul ball. The 2 2 one more time. Ball. Missed with a slider. He's going to have to make adjustment on that slider away. He can't just make it a non competitive pitch and allow these guys to take. He's got to start that a little bit more over the middle of the plate to get that swing and miss on the outer half. Another full count offering on its way towards second. And a diving effort there from Kinsler, but it'll go for not a base hit. Boy, this is just a case of another really good hitter finding a way, even though that was a soft liner, finding a way to get hits. Yeah, he usually hits rockets and catches the barrel, but even the soft liner's fall. Dan, he has a knack for keeping his bat in his zone and giving himself a chance much longer than the average ball. Craig Kimbrell enters the game in a save situation, but he'll be asked to get four outs here instead of the standard three. Into the box now. Cody Bellinger pulls this one into the air out into right field. Betts has a read on it. And that ends the inning. Dodgers leave one. They trail 5-2. Dylan Floro is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 51, Dylan Floro. Striding into the box, Eduardo Nunez, one for two in the ball game thus far. Now the one and one pitch, fouled away. The one two a little bouncer that goes foul so he stays alive with two strikes heading out towards shallow right taking it in his Puig and there's your first out. Now batting after Christian Vasquez. Stepping up now, Christian Vasquez. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. He's 
set. Here's the 2 2. Now a soft liner to the right side, but foul. Set to deal on 2 and 2. Soft liner towards center, and he'll break through with a solid knock here, his first of the ballgame. Man, he got the front foot down right there, kept the front shoulder tucked, and was able to stay inside that ball for a soft liner in the center field. Bradley Jr. Standing in now, Jackie Bradley Jr. Well, this is pulled in by the shortstop. Now right fielder. Ooh, here's Luki Bass. The 1-1. One, one. Hit in the air to left. Hernandez moves over. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. One left for the Red Sox. They're still out in front, five to two. Welcome back to baseball on MLB Network from Boston, Mass. We're set for the final innings of this one. Stepping up to the plate, Brian Dozier. He's the one to start off the ninth inning with his guys in danger of going down two games to none if they can't rally. Two balls and a strike to Dozier. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. Just a bit high that time as he misses for a ball. If you're at the plate in this situation, you're only thinking one thing, and that is get on base. You got three balls. It has to be perfect over those 17 inches for you to pull a trigger. A walk is as good as a knock right here. 3-1 is a fastball and he can't connect 3-2. and two. When you get yourself to a 3-1 count and you get a fastball, those are the ones you really want to punish. Couldn't get the bat on it, so we'll see if that comes back to haunt him. Got him! And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Well, we'll see a lot of these power arms coming out of the bullpen in these days, but it doesn't make it any less impressive to me. I love watching guys come in and blow smoke right by guys. Into the box, Yosmani Grandal. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. The 3-2 pitch. Popped him up. Pierce shading to his right. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Digging in, Yasiel Puig. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. The Dodgers down to their final strike. And a swing and a miss as they definitely had him reaching for that one. And this ball game is over. 